let's move on to a story about the Wirral. And the headline says, Cultural flame still burns bright as torch passes to the Wirral. And this um, is a discussion with Phil Redmond. Another year's over, a new one begins, someone once sang. And by now, you may be wondering where that year went. You may have also pondered where the last decade went with 2018 and its 18 for 18 cultural programme celebrating the 10th anniversary of what will soon become officially the one and only European capital of culture in the UK. Don't let anyone try to tell you Glasgow was first. It wasn't. It was only a city of culture and back then any city could apply and the winners were chosen by Brussels whereas Liverpool was chosen by the UK government to be the nation's host city. And didn't we do the job well and prove there is a vibrant life outside London? 2018 was not just another great year, however, but a reminder of the power of culture to act as a catalyst to bring people together. What happened in Liverpool allowed me to suggest then nurture the UK City of Culture programme that has been to Derry, dash London Derry 2013, Hull 2017 and in 2021 it will be in Coventry. From that, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, openly admits he appropriated the idea for a London Borough of Culture competition because London is for once banned from the national competition. Waltham Forest becomes the first borough of culture next year and over the Christmas break, another Labour politician, Yvette Cooper, recognised the catalytic power of cultural intervention by suggesting there should be a Town of Culture Award. All this because, as it happened so many times in the past, Liverpool showed the way. There is no doubt that the city is now seen as the exemplar for growth through culture, something that has seen the visitor economy Economy, econ, economy doubled since 2008 and in many respects has been the unnoticeable antidote to austerity. It is not a panacea for all ills, but culture does allow people to come together to use their creativity to explore common interests and new opportunities. That is why the chair of the local cultural partnership I was asked by Mayor Anderson to come up with a cultural strategy that built on his own metaphor of culture being the rocket fuel of regeneration. It is why the city region's devolution deal is the only one in the UK to place culture at its centre. It is why May Mayor Rotherham, who was Lord Mayor in 2008, also sees culture as a mechanism for change. 2018 saw St Helens have a great 150 year anniversary year. This year it is the Wirral and each year after the title will rotate around the boroughs to remind not just the world but ourselves what a rich tapestry of cultural assets we have in the city region. Each will promote the other as part of a wider 30 year, old, 30 year strategy. Each borough will know the award will return every five years. For they can plan and work with national funders to secure bigger and better projects. So by the time we get to the 20th anniversary of 2008, the region itself will have seen as the exemplar for creativity and culture. To help illustrate this, we launched a competition to design the logo for the Borough of Culture. Now, I said that was going to be um, a, a story about Reg, uh, Wirral, and it only got a tiny little mention, but that's the echo for you.